Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Wednesday and I'll yak at you for a second. Is it Wednesday? Or is it Tuesday? See how I get mixed up and get ahead of myself. It's Tuesday. That's what happens when you start to get older. Cheers. What's going on this morning is that I'm working on this bass part for um, the next Mana Mirage album, the track that Dave Newhouse sent me. Um, I've been um, picking at it slowly because um, you know he's given me a lot of freedom with it and I don't I want to mess it up. My um, regular way of playing is to be the root and um, Dave is challenging me to be more melodic, which it can be, but it's at the same time, a lot of times it's exploratory. And so it's like I have to play it and then listen back and then plot it out. So it's a slow process, but I, I do think I'll, I may get the track done today. I'll get it done this week for sure. Also, I was just chatting this morning to Guy Siggers. From the band Universe Zero. He and I are slowly um, chipping away at a project. The first track that I sent him uh, to work on, mm, it didn't, um, it, was, it wasn't quite suitable. And what's interesting to me is Guy is a, is a busy man, does a lot of music. You know, he just put out that new Eclectic Maybe band uh, CD, which I like quite a bit, but he's challenging me, you know, and he says, um, you write it. <laughs> I, I like that, you know, he's being, I like people that are honest and forthright. He's, he's busy. He says, I know how to play on my own stuff and uh, I would do it myself. I'm kind of the same way about my own music, actually. I uh, sent Dave Newhouse a track to add tracks to which he did, and I found myself losing interest, being, it's being honest, okay? It's not that the track isn't going to be finished, but it was like, hmm, this has changed, this has changed to how I feel about this. So this is a quite an interesting proce proce process, a uh, long distance um, collaborations, but things are happening. And if you don't know the band Universe Zero from Belgium, check this out, it's some very compelling, your original, dark, chamber-like music. Some more music for you. What did I play last night? Um, hadn't listened to Osabisa for a long time. African band who, um, they, um, it was to their credit that they were able, that Roger G Dean illustrated their first few albums that helped to draw attention to the band. Very good band. And um, what I like about the music is, besides the music, is this universal love message. This come together message, which sounds very sincere on this album. Whoa, well, yeah, yeah. Pulled another old album last night, hadn't played in a while. Man, slow motion. From Wales, is that right? Welsh, are they? Don't hit me if I'm wrong. This is one where Deke Leonard seems to be one of the prime songwriters. The um, character of the band kind of changes a little bit. They're always this good time, good feeling sort of band, but the songwriting changes. Back to the Future and Be Good to Yourself at least once a day, those are my favorites. And I have some others by them, but and I also like this um, take on the Alfred E. Newman Mad cover. I think there's another edition of this where they show his face. I'm not sure about that. Played this last night all the way through. This is just a monster, masterpiece of an album. Miles Davis, Live Evil. Um, not long after Bitches Brew was, was done, these sessions happened. This is the reissue on blue vinyl. Uh, I, I, my copy sounds fine. 
I don't have a super high-end stereo that I'm listening to all the time. So, um, I was hearing from someone online that there's this, this rumble on this. I didn't hear no rumble last night, but again, I'm not listening to it with a gnat's ass. <laughs> this is just killer. Everything about it, everybody is just doing way more than pulling their weight on that album. And that's a, that, that Jack D. Jeanette drum solo on that album is, is, it's a drum solo worth listening to. And I used to like drum solos when I was a little boy, but just like people in general, as we started to really get familiar uh, with rock and the, the development of rock music, audiences got tired of drum solos. We did. This one on Live Evil is one you want to listen to. Bought this not long ago and pulled it again. A remix album by a certain ratio. Loco Res... Uh, Remez Clada. Good band. Good stuff. You know the band? Manchester band? Funk. On the funky side of things. Here's an album and a sound that still hasn't been reproduced by anyone else. Uh, John Hassel with Brian Eno. Fourth, fourth World Volume 1 Possible Musics. Rest in peace, John Hassel. This is uh, truly the sound of going to a different world. It does. It has geography. It has a sense of place. And um, nothing else like it. It's fantastic. John Hassel. Fantastic music. Here's one I pulled thinking I might get rid of it. No, this is beautiful. Liz Story, I believe she's Tim Story's sister. Unaccountable Effect. Wyndham Hill, but it's a good one. It's, it's you know, I, Wyndham Hill was a good label. They just, it's like they seem to plow a furrow a little too well. It's like it's like wallpaper music, and it's like they got it down to the point that's like, for example, Shadow Facts. I got some Shadow Facts. I never play them, but I hang on to them. The first one, Watercourse Way, is my favorite by Shadow Facts. But their Wyndham Hill albums, they're nice, but they're forgettable. This is beautiful, though, on account of the effect. Piano. Anything else? Yes. So, interesting, this, this um, topic of dream, and I, I'll take the word pop out because I just in general, what I'm drawn to actually personally more than anything else is beauty, things that catch my ma imagination, things that are kind of dreamlike. I do like that, things that are dreamy. So someone brought up some other Marvin Gaye tracks and Trouble Man, Trouble Man comes close to dreamy to me but that's more cinematic now trouble man is one of my favorite marvin gaye songs but that's cinematic and big and there's just a little bit of a difference the reason why i mentioned what's going on is the end of the song with the the woman the voice where it's like what where where did this go okay that's the kind of thing see it's all very individual too so but I like being able, to, I like talking about this because this really is encompassing my most favorite aspect of what I like about music, which is beauty and things that capture my imagination. I didn't grab it because my bees are out in the other room. But another soul song that is absolute dream pop for me is Jerry Butler's Walking Around on Teardrops on his album Ice on Ice. Um, when I first heard it as a boy, it just took me away and it's the it's the words as well that's why it starts he starts off by saying you took me on a wonderful high and it was beautiful but the music matches it and it's got that electric sitar on it which also gives it that to, for me kind of an otherworldliness you know another example and along those lines this album by Radiohead a moon shaped pool Man, do I like this album. And thank you, someone sent me a deluxe edition of this album, but I kept both. This whole album is very dreamy sounding. Not dream pop, but like, like it's a dream. 
you know, the second song on the A side. Perfect. It's called Daydreaming. Very dreamlike. I love this album. I like Radiohead quite a bit, but this album is like, wow, this is really, this really hits the spot for me. And not dream pop, but just music that has kind of a, kind of a bare bones charm. Section 25, another one of those English bands, possibly Manchester. They were, they were on factory records. And they played a real shambolic sound, like they can barely play their instruments, and yet there's just this gravity to what they're doing. And this is their album Love and Hate. And it does, it's, it's, it's kind of shambolic. The singing is not always in key, but there's just something that just works about this. Matter of fact, when I got to the track Warhead, because you know war, madness of what's going on it almost it almost choked me up because what he's saying and it is they're marching they're marching and it's just so it's so nakedly damn it the way he's singing it's like they're doing it again and he's not singing about what's going on now but anytime you speak about war it's all the same the madness the foolishness of it is like why is this happening my god why is this happening? Why is this happening? So, so I've done a few passes on the Dave Newhouse this morning. I've sent one to Dave to see if I'm on the right track because um, this one is more of a challenge than the, the other. I've done two other tracks for Dave and this is the most challenging one he's given me. And I'm up for the challenge, but I want to get it right. So I'm waiting for some feedback from him. And um, let me try to finish it up today. Um, other than that, um, I'm going to just be on a cruise. Everyone take care. <laughs>